Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Ching, 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 ching. Today I'm going to be talking about rod maintenance. We spend a lot of money on our fishing tackle and just a little bit of time after fishing will help you look after your tackle and maintain it and keep it in a good condition for years to come. What I'm going to use today is one of our um, ski boat rods, but it doesn't matter what rod it is, whether it's a bass rod, a carp rod, a surf rod, everything stays the same as far as rod maintenance goes. Um, when you get back from fishing, whether it be salt water, dam or whatever it is, the first thing that I do, lukewarm water with a cloth. So there we go guys, pretty much lukewarm water, a little bit of sunlight liquid in it just to wipe off dust or any grime, bait, stuff like that. And what we do is we just lightly rub it, whether it be the rod guides, the winch area, doesn't make a difference. You just go through it quickly, clean the rod off, clean around the guides. It's as quick and easy as that. It takes two minutes to do it. You can also spray it off with a hose pipe if you want, after you've done it with the sunlight liquid. Let's just put this down. Okay, guys, just take some cotton towel or um, a cloth that you might have that's dry, rub it down, dry it off, or you can let it sit in the sun until it's dry. The next thing that we do, especially for our rod guides, and that's very important, um, especially if you're saltwater fishing, some silicon spray. That's Spaniard silicon spray. And all we do, shake the can and just lightly spray it on the guides as you're going. That will now prevent any corrosion or moisture sitting on the rod. And when you fish again, of course, the line will also move through it a lot easier or braid. Spaniard silicon spray, very, very important. The next part, especially for us rock and surf guys, is our winch. Obviously, we go fishing, sand gets in underneath the reel seat. Um, on top of it, you don't want to damage your winch. So the best thing to do is wind it all the way to the top, take either a paintbrush or a toothbrush, old toothbrush. And in the groove, just clean off any sand that might still be sitting in that groove area inside the actual winch. First of all, it protects your foot of your reel from getting scratched. And uh, again, it protects the, the graphite, um, your threads. Wind it all the way down. Once you've done the top, Take your toothbrush or your, your paintbrush and you just lightly clean out any loose sand. Very quick, very simple. Then, especially for our rock and surf guys that get your hands very dirty, the bait, oil, chocker, sardine, anything that comes onto it. This part here, rub it down very nicely with that sunlight liquid. If you find that the bait is impregnated into the actual EVA, just take some light sandpaper and you just lightly rub it like that to get rid of any excess um, bait that might be on there. And the reason we do that is cockroaches, guys. Durban is known for cockroaches, fish moths, stuff like that. And you'll find if you hang your rods up in your garage that you end up with all these pit marks from cockroaches. So make sure you clean your EVA off as best as you can just to prevent those cockroaches from coming in there and feeding on your EVA. That's as simple as that, guys. Go out there, enjoy. Rod maintenance is so simple. It takes five minutes and your rod will be in spick span condition. There we go, guys, as easy as that. <laughs> 